Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to pass the user testing test. Now, uh, before we go any further, if you are not already subscribed, do hit that subscribe and don't forget to hit that like. And let's continue on with the video. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going on to the user testing site and let's go ahead and click on get paid to test. So this means that, you know, we will now be logging in as the user tester itself. So I'll go right on ahead and add in the email address to get started. Now, once that you have added your email, go right on ahead and click on this box right here saying that you have agreed and uh, read the terms and services. So go right on ahead and read through all of that. Now let's go ahead and click on get started. And as you can see here, it says that the sign up test takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So go ahead and prepare through everything. It is um, being said that you will only be paid through PayPal. So make sure that you have a PayPal account and you are ready to use that or put that information in. Once that you're happy, go ahead and click on next right here. And then we will add in our information right here. Now go right on ahead and add in all of the information that you have, including your first name, your last name, a username that you'll be using, password, and your zip code or postcode. And then once that you're happy, go right on ahead and click on next. Now the next part, there will be a update on the privacy policy. So go right on ahead and read through all of that by clicking on this link right here. And once you're happy, go right on ahead and click continue. And now here are a few things that you can do. So you can go ahead and, you know, verify the email, connect your PayPal account, create your profile, and then take a practice test. As you can see, this gives you an indication as to how long these will take. So we're just going to go ahead and complete all of this. Now, once that you have set up everything, so you have, you know, um, completed your email verification, you've connected your PayPal account, and you have you know, uh, updated your profile information you can go right on ahead and take the practice test. So the practice test is something that needs to be approved or it's something that we need to be able to pass so that we can start taking real tests. So how exactly do you pass that? Let's go ahead and let me show you. So let's go ahead and click on take practice test right here. And then this will load up this section. So on this section, you will have a video, which you can go ahead and, you know, uh, watch. And for the things that you will need to remember, it says right here, it is, you need to read, okay, read the question out loud and speak your thoughts clearly. Take your time. Don't rush through the tasks. There are no wrong answers. Just give your honest opinion. So it's all about speaking out loud. So you need to be able to communicate what is in your head so that the user testers can figure out, you know, if you're expecting something or if it is, you know, something that um, didn't go according to your uh, expectations or, you know, it actually does go through your expectations and everything is going smoothly. Now, once that you're ready, let's go ahead and click on next right here. And the next thing that we will see is all about setting up. So what you will need to do is we need to share access to the entire screen and microphone. So you will then stop sharing once that you've finished uh, giving feedback. So when you're ready, we do need the microphone and we need the screen. So let's go ahead and click on share access right here. And then if there is a pop up in terms of your audio, then go ahead and accept it right here. And then what we're going to do is we need to share the entire screen. Let's go ahead and click on entire screen right here. Now, as you can see, if you have two screens, you should be able to see two options. So go right on ahead and choose the one that you will use for your recording. So I'm going to choose this one right here and let's go ahead and click on share. Now it says here that you do need to confirm, make sure that you are sharing the entire screen. So that is something that you need to make sure it is entire screen right here. So this is already showing the preview right here. And once that you're happy, let's go ahead and click on next. All right. So on the next one, you will need to choose the microphone that you are using. And as you can see here, I'm using one of this um, microphone selection. So go right on ahead and choose the one that you are going to use. So I'm going to be choosing this Yeti Classic right here. So as you can see, while I am speaking, you should be able to get some form of feedback right here. 
So let's go ahead and click on a next. Now it says here that there needs to be two tabs open. So you'll need to uh, open up two browser tasks to take a task. One is for the instructions and the other is for the experience you give feedback on. Now check out the animation to see how to switch between tabs. It was just basically it was just, you know, clicking between each one like that. And let's go ahead and click on the next. And, and there you are. So as you can see here, we have two tabs open right up at the moment. Once that we click start recording, this should add another task or this should add another tab right here. So remember, as it says right here, we need to speak our thoughts and go ahead and do this in a quiet place. Minimize any applications that we want to keep private. So let's go ahead and click start recording right here. So you will get a countdown and everything is now being recorded. So as you can see here, whenever I am speaking, we should be able to see the microphone also moving right now. It is completely recording the entire screen right here. And here is our scenario. So for this practice test, you will search for articles on the user testing contributor support center website and provide feedback on the experience. Now we want to see how well you speak your thoughts and feelings out loud and how well you follow the test instructions. So remember to read every single parts of the instructions. And it says here that when you select open test page, which is this one, the experience you are testing will open in a new browser tab. Return to this current tab when you are ready for the next instruction. Keep both tabs open for the duration of your test. So let's go ahead and click on open test page. So this will then open up a new tab right here. So um, it has opened up a new page, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back right here, uh, return to this current tab, it says, when you're ready for the next instruction. So the first instruction is to open this up. We have opened it up. Now we're ready to click on next. Now the first task is to find the article called protecting your privacy while testing. So think aloud as you look for it. What made it easy or hard to find what you are looking for? The more you share, the better. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this tab right here. And we're going to be looking for protecting your privacy while testing. So this is the uh, FAQ. So we're going to look for protecting your privacy while testing right here. It's actually this one right here on the right side, as you can see. But if you want to go ahead and go down all the more, you should start to see there is a section on the privacy. But there is a particular article which is protecting your privacy while testing, which is this one. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And here is the article that we need to look for. So does it say that we need to read it at the moment? It says we need to find it. So we have found it. And how easy was it for us to find? It was particularly easy. It was in one of the most used articles or useful articles, and we were able to easily find it. Now we're going to go ahead and click on next. Now it says spend one to two minutes reading the section about what information you should never share. Was the information clear? Explain why or why not. Okay, so we're going to be looking for a section about what information you should never share. So as you know, you can go right on ahead and read through all of this. There is some sections on, you know, sensitive personal informations, what those are, but the, the particular ones that we are looking for, for what we should never share is right here. So it says, is there information I should never share? Although it is up to you, what personal information you decide to share while testing, you should never share prohibited personal information. So these are credit card number, driver's license number, car loan number, personal financial accounts number, passport number, accounts passwords, social security number, specific genetic information, and so on and so forth. And it says right here that if you accept a test that requires you to share any of these uh, prohibited personal information, then click help or the question mark to report a problem. So this is not allowed. So user testers who are asking for these information, you should not share them at all. So now we can go ahead and go back into this tab. And we know the information already. And it's asking, was the information clear? explain why or why not. 
Well, I believe that the information is clear because it goes through every single details as to what should be shared or what or what can be shared, I mean, and what should never be shared. And it also gives information as to, you know, uh, what to do if ever we encounter this. And yep, yeah, it is all explained very clearly. So we can go right on ahead and click on next. And it says here, task number three. According to the article you just found, which of the following information is never safe to share? So are these email address, phone number, financial account number, or home address? So if you don't remember it, we can go right on ahead and open up the tab once more. So remember that every time that, you know, everything that's being done here or being shown here in this entire screen is being recorded. So um, make sure that you have closed everything off except for the actual test itself. Well, it is asking for, um, you know, email address, phone number, home address, financial account number, are these safe? Well, if we go right on ahead and look up right here, if we look for ones that is, you know, looking for um, email address, I do not see anything that says, you know, we should never share email address. It says that we can use a fake mailing address if you want to. You can go right on ahead and use that if, you know, um, you don't want to use your personal, but it doesn't say that using your personal is prohibited. The same goes for your phone number and your home address. There is no information saying here that you should never provide it. But if you take a look at the financial account number on this section where it says prohibited personal information, it actually shows here. So personal financial accounts number is prohibited. So we can go right on ahead and choose this one. And then we'll click on next. Now, uh, task number four is now find the article called Contributor Code of Conduct. Spend one to two minutes reviewing the important points to keep in mind. So let's go back into this new tab, uh, this tab right here. And if we scroll all the way up uh, on the articles in this section uh, tabs, you can actually see the Contributor Code of Conduct right here. So let's go right on ahead and click on this to open it up. And then here are all information that you can read. So it's actually quite short. Uh, so you can go right on ahead and read through all of this. So once that you're happy, let's go ahead and click on next. Now, task number five is name one important point that you remember from the article. Why did this stand out to you? Well, for uh, you can go right on ahead and reply in terms of what you have read in the contributor code of conduct. And for me, the one that stood out, I would say, is to refrain uh, taking tests outside of the country where I live. So say, for example, if I take the holiday or something, then I'll just focus on the holiday and not take any tests so that I don't impact in terms of, you know, geographically the data that is being collected. And at the same time, I will continue on to just take tests whenever I am in my own country. And there you go. Why did it stand out to me? Because I found it quite interesting how the data uh, about honesty is very important and there you go let's go ahead and click on next right here and any final thoughts well if you have any final thoughts just go right on ahead and you know explain to them i would just like to thank very much user testing for allowing me to complete this practice test and i am very excited to join the team and to give user testing a go and make an impact in terms of research and there you go. Once that you're happy, you can go right on ahead and stop recording right here. And a task number seven right here. So it's not, uh, it's finished recording already, but there is one final thing. So which is what's one thing you would change about the support center to improve your experience? You can pretty much uh, talk about anything right here. Um, so, you know, give an example like I would like to be able to have a chat bot that allows me to uh, be directed to specific problems or information that I need. And here you go. So we will go ahead and click on finish right here. 
and we are all done. So as you can see here, they are currently reviewing the test. It usually take around a few days, so keep an eye on the inbox. But it is highly, highly impossible to fail this test as long as you are meeting the standards that they require. So it is, you know, to be able to speak out loud, speak your thoughts, give your honest opinion, and then go through each of the individual tasks. Well, I hope that you have found this video useful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time.